Welcome back. Amy Carpenter is the author of the book series Be Strong, Be Wise. Amy, thank you so much for, for coming in. Thank you for having me. Talk to us a little bit about what these uh, books are about. Well, they're both directed at sexual safety for teenagers. So I use the term sexual ethics a lot. And our first book in this series, uh, The Young Adult's Guide, is for teenagers to learn about, you know, how do you listen to your red flag signals? How do you um, communicate your boundaries? How do you respect the boundaries of others? How do you support your friends in making safe decisions? Because the world uh, of teenagers nowadays is pretty sex-saturated as far as the media. So our book provides, both books provide kind of a step-by-step -step pathway to help teenagers make good choices. So book one that you see there is geared towards the teens. Yep. And then the next book is towards uh, That's, adults. Yeah, for caring adults, we are primarily bringing this course into schools. We've been in public schools and private schools and colleges, and we're seeing um, really some exciting outcomes as far as a lowering of sexual misconduct among students at school. Uh, the Department of Education has issued um, a recent statement that sexual assault is highest or teenagers are most at risk of experiencing assault by other teenagers or the demographic most at risk currently. So we're really committed to trying to get this program into schools so that teenagers can talk to each other and to caring adults in learning, you know, how do you build healthy versus toxic relationships? Are those statistics and those relationships that you're trying to help foster some of the reasons that you decided you wanted to write this series of books? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a series of events that led me to want to write them, but I've been a social worker for about 30 years and a youth advocate for almost that long. And in 2019, when the Brett Kavanaugh hearing was happening, I had a lot of clients and a lot of people I was working with tell me stories that they had never shared before. Mm -hmm. So they had kept them kind of locked up inside for years and years, and I began to realize I've spent the entirety of my career responding to this issue. Is there something that I can do to help prevent it? So and I, at the time, I was also launching my own teenage daughter into the college scene. And so I came to it from you know, my parents' perspective mm -hmm. and, and just really concerned for her. And I wasn't able to find anything in the market that was comprehensive and that met young people where they're at. So that's what these books really try and do. Uh, do you find that there's a need to just simply talk to kids uh, about this or maybe an under uh, focused on portion of the uh, curriculum and the education curriculum Oh, I, yes, I think there's not a lot of, com not enough conversation is happening. Um, you know, we don't have, we don't have enough sex education in general, I would say. And it's, there's a lot of um, fear on the part of parents and teachers and other adults because there's so much that happens on kids' phones. And we don't know, you know, what that entails. So I call it the digital divide. Mm -hmm. You have a generation of parents who did not grow up in the digital age raising a generation of teenagers who did, and the fallout of that is a lot of fear and anxiety and confusion and all of that makes it hard to have these really important conversations. So like I said, we try and do uh, offer a conversational roadmap that really explores a lot of the realities that teenagers are living with, including social media and cyberspace. Sure, the phone, yeah. it's, it's like a, a diary that can access the entire world, yeah. right? You know, it's yeah. so private yet so uh, open to everybody if exactly. you allow it to be. Uh, right. If people wanted to learn more, speak with you, maybe uh, get you in their school? Where should they do? How can they get the book? Sure. They're welcome to go to bestrongbewise.com is our website, and my email is amy at bestrongbewise.com. Awesome. There you go, bestrongbewise.com. Thank you so much Thank you for so coming much. in.